When I first entered the Air Force Academy in the ninth class with women, sexual harassment and assault were prevalent. The victims mostly suffered in silence. I am so inspired by the many survivors who found the strength to share their stories, report their assaults, and demand accountability, justice, and change. So, like you, I am also a military sexual assault survivor. But unlike so many brave survivors, I didn't report being sexually assaulted. I stayed silent for many years, but later in my career, as the military grappled with scandals and their wholly inadequate responses, I felt the need to let some people know I too was a survivor. I was horrified at how my attempt to share generally my experiences were handled. Like many victims, I felt the system was raping me all over again. So this is personal for me too, but it's personal from two perspectives. As a commander who led my airmen into combat and as a survivor of rape and betrayal. We cannot command change from the outside alone. It must be deployed from within. It must be built and constantly maintained and expertly managed by commanders who are themselves educated, conditioned, and given the tools to ensure what you survived and what I survived happens to no warrior under their command. We are survivors together. And I'm honored to be here and use my voice and unique experience to work on this mission and stop military sexual assault for good.